Hi Angels and this Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday is run by Ginger Reads Lady and I will link her channel and the Goodreads group down below. This week's Top 5 Wednesday is Top 5 Halloween Reads and it's sort of a rehash because I've already done a uh, monthly recommendations of Creepy Reads uh, which has already gone up so that one it may not be a video you want to watch if you've watched that one but oh Oh well. <laughs> so at number five I have The Messenger of Fear by Michael Grant. I really enjoyed this one. It's, I think I gave it three stars but I'm not sure. It's about a girl who wakes up and knows nothing apart from her name and then a guy who says he's the messenger of fear comes to her and tells her that he she's his apprentice and shows her what he does and it's really creepy and weird and I'm not sure if I want to continue the series because it's so creepy and I'm not really a creepy book kind of person which is why this topic was slightly hard for me but I still really enjoyed it but I don't know. <laughs> and number four I have The Savages by Matt Wyndham. This is about a family of cannibals and I don't think there's much more I have to say about it. It's a black comedy sort of thing. It's really humorous. It's, it's so so funny and you sort of relate to the characters and then you remember that they're cannibals and that you probably shouldn't like them but you really end up liking these characters that should be really hopefully unlikable but they're just great <laughs> and I really want to read um, the second book American Savages um, so I'm going to try and get hold of that at some point. The next two are from the same author and that is Under My Skin by James Dawson and Say Her Name by James Dawson. I enjoyed them both a lot. I don't think I can pinpoint which one's my favourite but I probably liked under my skin a bit more and I can remember that better because I recently read it. So Under My Skin is about a girl who gets a tattoo and the tattoo starts talking to her and it's really creepy and weird and great and I'm, I really really enjoyed it. I have a full review of it if that interests you and I really really enjoyed it. And so her name is about Bloody Mary and um, it's about a boy in school where some of the people in the boy in school do Bloody Mary into the mirror and it sort of starts to come true and it's really scary and it's probably the first horror I ever read and I really really enjoyed it so I definitely recommend that one. And last but not least I have Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. You may be like what that's not creepy but I it sort of has a Halloween feel to it. I really love it. It's a great love story and if you're not one for creepy books that scare you then Daughter of Smoke and Bone is one that's sort of dark and has sort of monsters in it but it's also not focused on the monsters too much and yeah I really really enjoyed it and Daughter of Smoke and Bone is one of my favourite books. Um, that was my top five Wednesday as you can see I don't really have a lot of creepy books so definitely recommend down below if you have any more. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.